Welcome back to the Damon Benning Show with Ravi Lula. That highlight can only mean one thing. It means we're joined by Heisman Trophy winner and maybe more importantly, Miller North guy, Eric Crouch. Eric, how are you today? <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good. He uh, thanks he, for having me on. EC, he keeps needling me because he knows we play Miller North tonight, and I know he's an <laughs> alum, so he keeps finding ways to like weave um, that I'm in. class of 05. That's all that's all I'm gonna say. 05 Miller Mustang. North. Mustang. Mustang forever. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, so did you think in 2023 uh, we would still be getting trap, midline, veer, like disco motion? Like it is oh yeah. You ran that 100%. bad boy as well as anybody. Like <laughs> it's well, set- you got a great coach. That's that's the thing. You know, you know how to get those guys coached up on that system. So it's it's interesting. It's solid. Even in, again in 2023, we were showing these clips on, I don't know, Monday or Tuesday. Linemen still get in a four point stance on the O line. Like, <laughs> I mean, they just come off okay. in waves, man. I'm like, yeah, wow. That you- might be a change from when I was there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, are these guys on offense or defense? <laughs> uh, Eric, uh, as you kind of look at Nebraska this season, obviously. A lot has. Oh, I thought we weren't talking about Nebraska. <laughs> hey, let's talk. <laughs> let's talk more about Miller North. And I'm I'm happy to relive. No, the, oh no. shoot! <laughs> I'm happy to relive the glory days. You know. Uh, um, no, uh, I, as we as you kind of look at Nebraska this season, obviously they've gone through so much in terms of coaching changes, administrative changes since your time there. As you kind of look at kind of a thirty thousand foot view in the big picture. What is kind of a common theme that you've seen between administrations and coaching staffs that you think maybe has led to some of the struggles Nebraska has gone through since, I mean, basically since you left? Uh, I mean, there's just so much. I mean, there's so many things, like you said, it's administration. Um, I mean, we can, we can talk about the portal. We can talk about NIL. We can, I mean, there's all kinds of things that I think of have uh, have hindered uh, Nebraska uh, lately. I mean, not having a a coach here for an extended period of time, I think, has hurt. Um, you know, pretty much able to get their system in place. So to me, that's that's real, real important. We just haven't had the stability. We've rolled through too many coaches. And, and that part has been disappointing, um, you know, that, that whoever we brought in just hasn't been able to get the job done. Um, you know, I, I do believe that it, it does help. Um, uh, well, I will say this, too. It has hurt us, you know, not being able to, uh, you know, moving from the Big 12, um, you know, recruiting, you know, the, the Midwest, uh, Texas, especially. We had a lot of good players come out of Texas. Um, you know, Damon, you know that when oh, we're, yeah. we were playing. Um, so I think that's hurt. But, I mean, there's there's a lot of good things, too. Um, you know, the Big Ten, there's a lot of competition. Uh, you know, it's coast to coast now, so now, you you know, you can go recruit. Um, so, you know, that shouldn't be an issue. But uh, I, I guess it's hard for me to just pinpoint one thing that, that I think has been the struggle other than, you know, a, a, coaching staff that have you know not been here for a long time or been able to settle in with with a culture that uh, you know is similar to what we're used to of the past and that's that's a winning culture a winning attitude and and um, you know doing things the right way and so I'm just I'm thankful because I do believe that coach rule is that guy who can do that and um, and it's just it's you know it's a little bit painful up, up at the front end of this so EC, let me ask you something. When you, you're uh, you're watching this and all this talk about the QB run game and Nebraska being so quarterback centric, um, you you, you kind of played a role in helping us be spoiled watching quarterbacks control football games. How how unique do you think that was based on what you had to do versus what we saw Sims try to do? early on in the season where all of a sudden fans were like, ah, that's now almost too much quarterback run game. Like, how do you balance the two? Well, um, let me start off by saying I was 
really impressed with the way Sims was running the football against Minnesota. I thought I, I thought for sure that we were going to see 20 carries from him again with the same you know type of scenario with the traps and you know getting on on the outside and these zone reads with him you know busting up the middle. He just he looked strong. He looked fast and he was I thought tough. I mean he was getting yards after contact, which was awesome to see. And so I was, ex- I was kind of expecting that a little bit uh, against Colorado, which I just, you know, we never saw that, that part, you know, kind of develop in the game. But um, when you got a guy that can run like that, you know, that's, you know, I kind of com- compare that to, you know, what I was able to do at Nebraska. They, they knew that my strength was my legs. Mm-hmm. And so let's, let's use it. Um, you know, they weren't going to put me in positions because we just didn't, we, we weren't throwing the football, you know, this deal it was play action last second look up, the guy better be wide open and you better hit him. You know, that's a little bit di- you know, that's a little bit di- <laughs> a little bit different than what they're doing now. Uh, you know, they gotta read coverages, they gotta know a lot more in the secondary and they gotta kind of pull full full field read these. Um but uh you know I still think, you know, to your question, I don't think there's anything unique really about quarterback eccentric situations. I mean Teams win that have a great quarterback. I mean, I don't know. You go look at all these teams right now that are are um, winning, and I pretty much guarantee you they got a really strong quarterback behind center. So it's it's not uh, it's it's not a position you got to take lightly. You got to find a guy that can get the job done back there and that can win you football games. And so I kind of think there might be a situation brewing. I don't want to start anything on the quarterback room, but it's like you got to find a way. Um, and, and I'm really a, you know, a Jeff Sims fan. I think he, he's a, he's a big, strong kid that, that can, you know, use his legs to get it done, but I'll never forget Turner Gill telling me like, you know, this, at this position and at this level, you got to be really smart with the football. Mm-hmm. You got to take care of it and protect the football. And, um, it, it just comes down to that. And if you can't get that, that part of it done, then, um, you know, Nebraska is going to be forced, forced, uh, to look in other directions. We're talking with Millard North High School great Eric Crouch. No, that's what we're on now. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, okay. I, you know, I've I've, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I've used you as an example over the last couple of weeks because, as you mentioned, Jeff Sims is a big, strong guy, six four, listed at about two twenty. Obviously, that's a that's a little bit bigger than you were listed at, um, and a lot. No offense, I think <laughs> they may have given you a little bit on the listing as well. Um, but you know, people always ask about, hey, can he take these many hits? Can he take these many hits? And then you spent your entire career basically ex- exclusively on QB run game. What's the difference between now and then? Because it didn't seem like it was an issue back then when a lot of guys. We're doing QB run almost exclusively, even as you go back to the 80s and 90s. But now, if a quarterback's got 15 QB runs a game, we're worried about him getting injured. Is there is that just like a mentality shift, or, or what do you see there? Because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, whew, uh, I I think there's there's a different mentality with the game. It's it's before you know we never thought about protecting ourselves. We were always sacrificing ourselves. Mm -hmm. Um, I I think that now it's more Mm -hmm. driven around protection and I just the mentality was sacrifice you know you'd run through a brick wall and if you died you died it was just like whoa what seriously (laughs) we're gonna talk about like that Mm -hmm. um and it was just the mentality man it's just uh it's different um and I, I still see that you know, it's like watching a little bit of NFL last week and you, you had uh, um, Allen from the Bills who was running and, and, you know, and he didn't get, he didn't dip out. He he put his head down and like stayed in bounds. And the coach was like, man, you got to be smart. He, and they caught him like pointing to his head, like be smart. Um, I get it. That's a little bit different. And these guys are being paid mi- millions and millions of dollars. But um, I don't want to see college football go that route. I'd like to see the purity and I'd like to see guys, uh, you know, playing it uh, for, you know, they love the game. Um, and uh, I'd like to, I'd like to see more quarterback, more teams running the quarterback. It's, uh, you know, to me, uh, exciting to watch. And, uh, you know, this guy's a, a tough guy. I think he can do that. I mean, if, 
we're talking about what we've got right now. I, you got to use the strengths and you got to use the, uh, the abilities of our players currently and put them in good positions to be successful. And, you know, after watching that Minnesota game, I just thought that Sims was pretty dynamic running the football and, and, and he was getting, you know, north and south pretty good. Do you think a, a, a win helps cement kind of the philosophy that Coach Rule is trying to instill in terms of being other centered, the culture building, the plan for one another? Does it does it have to boil down to the results at this point? Do you think? Um, not in year one. Okay. You know, we want it to, but not in year one. That's Eric Crouch. Heisman Trophy winner and former Husker because DB is getting a little cranky about the Miller North stuff. No, it's all good. Uh, but that's my good. guy, uh, Eric Crouch. We appreciate your time. We know you're a busy man. Absolutely. Hopefully we talk to you again soon. Thanks, EC. Call any time. You bet, man. All right. Coming up next, we go to high school football with Mike Sauter here on Betting and Lula. We'll be right back in four minutes.